So I wanted to talk about a couple things today. The first thing I just wanted to say is how welcome I feel in this sort of beautiful house. Um, I really consider myself an outsider in some ways to education. It isn't my background. I didn't have the amazing opportunity to come to Bank Street. I really come from the field of design. But I somehow found myself in a space of working with young people and believing that education and learning was really the true mission for everyone, that that, that is the place to do the you know, true work. Um, and so the past couple of years, I've just learned so much about the, the kind of open arms of educators, of welcoming people in that are unlike them. Um, and so the Bank Street has been this place that from the very beginning of my work has stood there with their arms open saying, come inside, we would like to learn with you and from you and be able to share the knowledge that we have with you. And so that's been remarkable. And this, this honor really means a great deal to me. So I, I wanted to thank you for that. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is, so I'm a game designer. And what a game designer does is we talk about the fact that we traffic in the space of possibility. And our entire job is to try to think about how do we create an experience for somebody to step into that when they step inside, they believe that anything is possible. And there's a lot of sort of puppetry happening in the back end in the way that a teacher does some puppetry where you are guiding and supporting that player or that young person, but you're allowing them to feel as if they are the one that is driving the experience and discovering things. And so for me, there is this huge overlap between the work of teaching and the work of designing games. And that's sort of how I got to the space where I am today and looking at those types of connections. Um, and I just wanted to tell one story about my very first teaching job was I was 15 years old and I was a lifeguard at a swimming pool and I taught a group of six-year-olds every summer how to swim. And we would start at the beginning of the summer and those of you that work with young children know how incredibly cute they are when they're in their little swimming suits, um, standing on the edge of the pool, terrified to go in. And so I would have about six of them sort of knock kneed standing there, completely terrified. And then we would work, and I, I love that we heard about failure and perseverance earlier, and they would fail, and they would struggle, and they would cry, and ultimately they would learn how to swim. And the penultimate challenge was always the leaping off of the diving board in August, just before the pool was to close. Um, but I had two students, uh, Christina and Annie, um, and I did a sort of uh, a private lesson with them all summer. And we worked with them once a week. And both Christina and Annie were terrified of the water. Um, and so it took a lot slowly over the course of the summer to sort of coax them into the stairway where they could kind of sit and splash around. We learned how to blow bubbles, how to go underwater. Um, and towards the end of the summer, we had made it to the far side of the pool, still in the shallow end. And I remember that I, had, I was working with Christina and Annie was on the corner behind me. And generally when I was working, one child would be there and I would sort of have my hand on their back and I would be doing work with the other one. So Christina was bobbing, you know, the kids love to bob, going up and down. And I had removed my hand and was attending to Christina. And I looked over my shoulder and Annie had let go of the wall and she was next to me basically drowning. So she was doing this and I thought in that moment, what can my reaction be to this situation? If I react in a way that indicates to her that this is not a good situation to be in, she might go back to where she was at the beginning of the summer, being scared of the water. Um, and so I thought, well, I will take my cues from Annie. So I turned and I lifted her up, gave her a little bit of help, and she came out of the water with the biggest smile on her face that I've ever seen, and she said, Katie, 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 did you see me? I was swimming all by myself. <laughs> and I thought, ah, OK, huge, huge lesson. So I often reflect back on Annie um, about this notion of as educators, as people working with young people, what does it mean to really inhabit their perspective 
about what they think they're doing and how do we lift them up around that rather than sort of squashing down and saying, well, no, actually, Annie, you were drowning, which is what her parents over in the corner were sort of signaling to me um, that I was, you know, almost had uh, injured their daughter. Um, and so I love that story because uh, I, just, I just always go back to that and, and again, thinking about this notion of the space of possibility. Um, you know, for Annie, that, that notion that for the very first time that she had been able to sort of do this swimming thing um, and she felt no fear. Um, and so I hate to give advice, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, but the only thing I'll say is to remember that making progress and really stepping into that space of possibility can also be dangerous in a good way. There is a sense, um, and games teach us this all the time, of pushing against the limits of what is possible. And it's risky, but it's in that risk that transformation is really possible. Um, and I have to say that I admire all of you tremendously. Um, one of the themes that I have heard again and again um, in talking to Bank Street people is how much they honor the student and how much they really believe in you. I know as a person who has taught university for 20 years that my job is about learning from my students. Um, and so it's just amazing to be here today, um, being able to share this with you and knowing how much you guys have taught all of us um, and how much you're going to be able to learn from the young people that you work with. Um, so I just want to wish you the best of luck. Um, I'm very, very proud of you um, and I'm here to celebrate with you. Thank you.